In this video, we will learn to add a secondary glossary in the course and importing and exporting entries from it. First click, turn edit and on. Scroll down to the second week of the course. Expand, add an activity drop down menu. And select glossary. Let's enter the name for the glossary as, word collection. In the description box enter. This glossary is for adding words related to this particular section. Under Glossary Type, notice that the glossary is itself marked as secondary, as there can be only one main glossary in a course. Then expand the Display Format drop-down menu. And change it to, Full with Author. Now, entries would be displayed with the author name who added the entry, to promote the student collaboration. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and click save and display. Note that, here also you can add entries as a student or a teacher, as explained in earlier lessons. In this glossary, we will import entries from a file. Under Glossary Administration Area, click, Import Entries. And click on Choose a File. In the File Picker, click on Upload to File. Then click Browse. Select the Word Collection.xml file and click open. Then click, upload this file. Leave, destination of imported entries to, current glossary. Also check the import categories checkbox. Then click, submit to import the entries. Here, you can see the total entries and the imported entries. Click continue. Now, you can see all the imported entries. You can also export these entries to main glossary by clicking the plus sign beside the entry you want to export. Click on the plus sign beside the first entry. Now, click on, abbreviations and glossary activity in the navigation block. Scroll down to see all the entries. Here, you can see the entry exported from the secondary glossary. Now, open your Moodle site in your computer and, implement the exercise before proceeding to the next video.